Friends, now we have to solve quadratic equation. 9y square minus 12y plus 2 is equal to 0 by completing the square method. Friends, don't forget to subscribe our channel because here we are trying to cover each and every problem of mathematics from class 1st to class 12 with English explanation as well as Hindi explanation. So friends, subscribe our channel and now see the next video. See, now the given equation is 9y square minus 12y plus 2 is equal to 0 and we have to solve this by using completing square method. Now to use this method means to make a complete square in the left hand side. It is better if the coefficient of y square is 1 at the place of 9 and constant term, we have to shift the constant term in the right hand side to make it easy. So friends, shifting plus 2 in the right hand side becomes minus 2 and dividing both the sides by 9 we get. So the equation is y square minus 12 upon 9 y is equal to in the right hand side minus 2 upon 9. Now friends, we have to apply one identity. As you know, a plus b whole square its expansion is a square plus 2ab plus b square. If we rewrite it by changing the side, then we get a square plus 2ab plus b square. This expansion is equal to in bracket a plus b whole square. Now we have to apply this formula in this problem. In the left hand side especially, we want three terms like a square plus 2ab plus b square so that we can make complete square like a plus b whole square. So, here we want third term. We have two terms. We want third term. And there is a formula to find third term. See, the formula for third term is square of half of the coefficient of variable y. So, first we have to find this value to add on both the sides of this equation. So, the value is in bracket half of coefficient of y that is minus 12 upon 9 whole square. If you solve this, we will get 4 upon 9. Now we have to add 4 upon 9 on both the sides of this equation so that we can apply our expansion formula easily. In the left hand side, y square minus 12 upon 9y plus our new term 4 upon 9 is equal to similar to the right hand side minus 2 upon 9 as it is plus our new term 4 upon 9. Now left hand side is the expansion of y minus 2 upon 3 whole square according to our above formula is equal to in the right hand side solving right hand side we get 2 upon 9. By taking square root on both the sides, we get in left hand side y minus 2 upon 3 is equal to in the right hand side plus minus root 2 upon 3 because we have to take square root. That means it may be negative or positive. So we have to use sign plus or minus. So in the right hand side, it is plus minus root 2 upon 3. Shifting minus 2 upon 3 from left to right it will become plus 2 upon 3 and we get value of variable y as y is equal to plus minus root 2 plus 2 upon denominator we can take common 3 because both terms have same denominator 3. Because of plus minus root 2 we get two values of variable y. One is y is equal to plus root 2 plus 2 upon 3 and second value is y is equal to minus root 2 plus 2 upon 3. So like this we have here two roots of this quadratic equation given quadratic equation and both the roots are irrational.